Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Kevin School bringing you guys another 2007 Old School RuneScape guide. This is going to be on Bandle's God Wars Dungeon. On the screen we have the attacker and tanker recommendations listed. You don't have to have every single one of these, but if you want to be getting a good amount of kills per trip, then I would suggest having most of these recommendations. Here we have the setup if you want to be an attacker, I would suggest having a Varex Helm skirt and Carol's top for the mage defense and prayer bonus, but I've seen some people bring a Need Is Not Helm, Bandos chest plate, and Bandos tacits for the strength bonus, but you will be getting hit a lot by the major. Then we have a Fire Cape, Amulet of Fury, God Sword, Addy Gloves, although I'm a noob, but you should have Barrow's Gloves, um, Dragon Boots, and a Berserker Ring. If you of course don't have the cash then you can just downgrade to the other things that were listed. Here we have the attacker inventory, I would suggest having 2-3 to three super sets, 2-3 to three brew and super restore sets, 2-3 to three prayer potions, 10-20 to 20 bones to peach tabs, a teleport tabs in case you have to get out there quickly, a hammer which you definitely do not want to forget, and the rest you can just fill up your inventory with some food such as sharks. Here we have the setup for a tanker, you're going to need full guthans, a whip and dragon fire shield or any other shield you're able to obtain, a fire cape, amulet of fury, barrels gloves unless you're a noob like me, dragon boots or bandos boots for your bandos item and a, a berserker ring but you could also have a ring of life if this is your first time tanking and you don't want to risk it for the biscuit. Here we have the tanker inventory which consists of 2 super attack and super strength potions, 2 or more prayer potions, 4 or more brew and super restore sets, 15 plus bones to peach tabs, guthan spear, a hammer, and you can also have a ceridome and god sword which is going to help a lot but not a lot of people have the cash. So let's get started, this is the path you're going to want to take in order to get to Bandos God Wars Dungeon if you have Edgar's Ruse quest done. As you can see I'm pulling out some runes to teleport to Trollheim. What you're going to want to do is teleport there and then drop two of your sharks and then teleport back to a bank and then grab two more sharks and then teleport back and what that is going to have you do is make you lo lose no inventory space just because you have to teleport so now you're gonna have your inventory all set up and ready to go so now that you've teleported back and you got your inventory all set up all you gotta do from here is climb down these rocks if you have the agility level or you can go around to the left side but usually people are going to have the agility level so you, all you got to do is climb down here and then start running north past the trolls and the trolls are going to chuck some rocks at you so what you want to do is pray range until you reach that snowy area. Once you get to the snowy area you can either lift the boulder which requires 60 strength or go through the butt crack which requires 60 agility and it's going to get you out farther so you're going to be losing less um, stats because when you're out here in the snowy area you're going to be taking a little bit of damage and it's going to reduce your stats every time it hits you or whatever and if this is your first time ever doing God Wars Dungeon then you're going to want to bring a rope in order to get inside when you're passing these white wolves, I would suggest praying melee because they can hit like 14s on you, but if you don't pray melee, it's not a big deal. Once you get inside, you're going to want to pray mage because those Ceridome and Priests are on you, then just head up north where you're going to be going and getting your kill count on some goblins or hobgoblins. I would only suggest being this far south if you had a Zamorak item like me, which is my god sword. You can kill the level like 12 and 3 goblins which is the fastest way to get kill count and then also you can head down south a little bit and kill some hobgoblins that are located right there too. However if you don't have a Zamorak item then I would suggest going north and when you're passing these orcs in order to get there you have to pray melee because these orcs will spank you pretty hard. Once you get to the hobgoblins you can just get your kill count there and there's also a joger or whatever you want to call it that you can also kill. Once you have a 40 kill count, you will be able to enter the God Wars dungeon room. If you have a Bandos item, then you will be able to sit next to the room next to it while you wait for your team to get kill count. If you do not, like me, then what you're going to want to do is pass those orcs right there by praying melee. Then once you use your hammer on the door in order to get into this room, you got to pray mage because all those spiritual mages are going to be on you. Then finally open this big door and pray range if you're an attacker and pray, and pray melee if you are a tanker. Make sure your tanker goes in first though or else you're going to have a bad time. 
Usually the first kill is going to be a little bit rough because you're going to have to wait for your entire team to get into the room and all of the minions are going to be in different places. So once you kill Grardor, you're going to need to kill the minions. And first you want to kill the Major, then the Melier, and then the Ranger. However, most of the time your tanker is going to need to heal off of the Ranger, which is Grim Spike, with his Guthen. So make sure you don't just go up to the Ranger and kill him first. Make sure your tanker has enough HP. And then once you kill all of the minions, just go right up next to the wall and wait for the next spawn. First, we're going to be looking at what you want to do if you're an attacker. First of all, you gotta pray range because those splashes will hit you hard if you are not praying range. And then start flicking piety, or you can just hold it on if you have enough prayer if you want, um, in order to kill Grardor and get those highest hits you can get. And then once you kill him, sometimes if you get the last hit on him, or if you're just unlucky, you're gonna have to tank the minions. And what you wanna do if you have to tank the minions is first put on Prey Mage, and then kill the Major. And then once you kill the Major, instantly put on Prey Range, because Grim Spike will be spanking you if you don't. And then kill the Melier, of course, and then wait for your tanker to heal off Grim Spike, which is the Ranger, and then you can just kill him. If your tanker doesn't have his Guthans on and he's killing Grim Spike, then that's probably an indication that he doesn't need to heal, so just go ahead and kill him so you can save the person who is tanking the minions some prayer points. Now we're going to be looking at what you want to do if you're a tanker. First of all, you gotta wait for that spawn. While you are waiting, I suggest being like four or five spaces off of the wall and don't go on the other side of the room. I've seen so many tankers do that and then Grardor just runs and hits one of the guys sitting on the wall. So once you run up to Grardor and hit him while you're praying melee, just run over to that Major because sometimes if you're getting spanked a lot, you're gonna wanna use your Guthans in order to heal off of the Major. If you have above 70 HP, then you can just keep killing Grador to help that um, kill go by faster. And if you are down to something like 50 HP, then I would suggest you um, eat if you're below 50 HP. And then once you're 50 HP, then you can just start healing off of the Major. If you keep getting hit though, remember to stay above 50 HP because he could splash you twice in a row, plus the minions could also hit you, and the splashes, which is his ranged attack if you're wondering, will hit something like 30s pretty often, unless you have a high defense like me during this kill, which I was pretty fortunate to have. When you're a tanker, you're usually going to want to have Piety on because it will help you against those range attacks and it will help you heal higher off of the minions and just hit Grador and kill him faster. Once you kill Grador, you're going to want to finish off that Major and then use your Guthans to heal off of the Ranger like we discussed earlier. Once you are around um, your max HP, then you can just start killing him with your Whip and tell your teammates to kill Grim Spike too so they can save their prayer points if they're having to tank it. Sometimes the minions are going to drop food such as chili potatoes and sharks. If you're the tanker, feel free to ask your attackers for some food that they get as drops or maybe even brews if they have some extras, which they usually will if they are a high enough level. And also, once you kill the minions and the bots, they're also going to be dropping bones and you can use your bones to peaches tabs on those to get some extra health. As you can see, we're just waiting for spawn here, and you gotta pray melee, and then just hit him once, and then go over to that major and start healing off of him. I'll tell you right now, a lot of tankers decide that they want to use something like a Carol's Top for the mage defense, but really, you do not want to have that because what is going to be hitting you the most is the range from Grador's Splash and from Grim Spike, which is one of the minions. So you really want to have all of your defense bonus towards range. As for people who are new to tanking, a lot of them are going to want to bring a ring of life, but you really don't need that if you have a good trustworthy team with you who is going to save your stuff if you die. And unless you're really bad at this game, then you don't have to worry about dying if you're tanking. As you can see right there, I was just hit down pretty low, but then I just brewed up and I was pretty much safe. As long as you're paying attention and you're not lagging bad, then you won't die as a tanker. So just make sure you have your Guthans healing off of the Major if you are low health, and if you are high health then just keep killing Grardor with your whip. Pretty much everybody who does Bandos wants to be an attacker and I can see why. 
um, but every team is gonna need a tanker so if you have guthans and a good amount of brews and stuff in your bank for supplies then just be a tanker because it's really not that hard once you get used to it even on my first trip I was pretty good at tanking so as long as you follow this guide then you're gonna be pretty good at it anyways thank you guys for watching this guide I put a lot of time into it so if you could leave a thumbs up if it helped you that would be great and also leave a comment down below if you have anything to say and maybe you could subscribe if you want to see more videos and I'll see you guys later in my next video if you are subscribed peace